Good day to everybody out there. Um, I hope you would actually like this video because for today, I'll be featuring my tent package. I believe it's, yeah, it's the tent package from the Our Empire. And for this uh, particular package, there's something special about it. So, um, well, it, this package was uh, been delivered and dropped off um, by my assistant here. So, um, just to show everybody, uh, that's the fourth. All right, so it's April 23rd, and that is today. So, this package, it's been repacked once again. So, well, I guess uh, the customs are enjoying um, opening up my package. Well, for my end, uh, I can't do anything about it because it's uh, they have certain policies about it and it's by law so uh, well to avoid uh, further delay let's open this one up okay so let's check a better spot to open it okay so let's view first what's inside this package okay so let's take and I actually had to pay a certain amount for it here we go so let's check the customs document over here so once again um, it's a bit expensive because it's a luxury so here we go so this is for the duty tax invoice. All right. So let me focus it a bit. There you go. Import and export taxes, then advance payments. It shows over here that the amount is, let's focus it, 1,600. All right, that's for the import export taxes, and then for the advance payment, there you go. For the advance payment, it's for 1,100, so total is 2,700 yen. Okay, so there's the document. So for this particular item, uh, I won't spoil the surprise, okay? So, let's open this up. Okay. So, I'm still expecting 33 packages so, uh, as of today from the Our Empire and that is composed of um, luxury items mixed with micro brands so for this package what I mentioned it's been repacked so customs basically messed up with it once more and well for this uh, the names not noted here on who opened it but you could see Let's move the camera back a little bit. Okay. So as you can see, there you go. Okay. So I guess that's uh, more than enough proof that customs checked it once again. So for today, I only have two items here. But as what Tomas and Master G is saying on their live for this particular item it's gimbal all right so let's check it out well I leave this uh, for the last one let's open up the first one okay so let's we get my 
gloves. Alright. So, um, thank you, Master G, for your sponsorship. Alright. For this gloves. Well, let me take off my jacket as well. Uh, basically, I, I, I just came home from work, so... Okay, here we go. So, let's do this. Alright, so, um, let's open up the first package. Uh, I believe this is uh, the free uh, timepiece that I got. Am I correct? Yes, it's actually a, a free time piece that I got from their events. But I believe that uh, the one included on in this package is uh, a special time piece, not just uh, the ordinary uh, Tommy or sports watches. This item is actually um, a good one. That's what I can say. Here we go. So first package, all right. Our first item for today. So it's an endless time. Okay. I I won this from Oliver's uh, game. Oh no, I think it's a uh, Thomas. So that's the endless time. All right. It's. Uh, barely similar to what I'm wearing right now if you could simply notice um, let's put it side by side it's um, a Rolex Daytona inspired so for this uh, timepiece if you could see there's my Rolex and there's the endless time okay so that's what I'm wearing right now. Okay, so it's a Rolex inspired. Well, let's check for. Um, well, it's not basically the same because if you could notice uh, for the tachymeter, right? It's there. It has a tachymeter, and this one, it's plain glass. All right, from to its edges. So it's a lobe one, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So, well, let's check it further. Um, for this particular timepiece, okay. Let me just get uh, a measuring tool here. So I have a caliper at hand. So. For this timepiece, um, including the case, it's 43 millimeter. All right, let's show it on the camera. Okay, there you go. That's from edge to edge, all right, including the case itself. So it's 43 millimeter. Alright, so let's check if the chronos are working for this timepiece. Alright, so let's focus it there. Um, well, I had the light upright. Okay, so let's focus it. Okay, there you go. So let's check. Well, it seems that it's not... A Chrono one. Well, it seems that oh, <clears throat> well, for this time piece, um, I haven't uh, actually uh, checked this further, but. I'll need to consult with Tom if for this timepiece it's uh, a display item, alright? Or it, it's supposed to actually have a moving chrono because the second uh, hand 
supposedly when you press this it should actually move but upon testing it it's not moving so I'll be confirming this with Tomas but it says over here um, it's 3 ATM so well I'll have to check this item further but anyway it's actually a free watch so probably it's for fashion or something okay so this is the first item now let's move on to the second one okay so this item is something to look forward to because uh, for my end, this timepiece uh, gave a certain mark on my record, right? Because if you guys have been watching the live bidding, uh, every uh, probably you would be aware that because of this item, I received two violation tickets okay so if you were watching that uh, video or that uh, live bidding then you have an idea on what item this is okay so for today let's check So, uh, okay, here we go. All right. Wow. Seems that um, I received another gloves. And it's the same one as what I'm wearing right now. So, for this, uh, thank you, Tomas, for giving me uh, another uh, glove. All right, so it's a one-piece glove, same as what I'm wearing, but Ma Master G uh, gave me uh, for both hands, all right? So I really appreciate this, Tomas. Um, I'm not quite sure if this is the same one that you, you were wearing during the RSS for the CEO group. Uh, well, I'll also confirm that with you uh, so that I'll know if uh, I'll be expecting another one. But I really appreciate this. And by the way, the packing look, it's kind of cold. It's all right. There you go. Can it cold New York? Okay. So thank you, Tomas. Thank you to the Our Empire for uh, the gloves. I really appreciate it. Okay. So. Here it is. The timepiece that gave me two violation tickets and uh, pressured me on bidding. Alright, I owe it to you, Tomas, for actually doing that. So, to avoid further ado, this is it. There you go. Okay, so that's a tag hewer. Okay, so well, pretty much uh, everybody knows that uh, tag hewer is already considered as a luxury watch, right? So what's inside of this box? Well, actually, uh, for my end, as uh, what I always say during the uh, comment during the live, it's a boom. All right. So here it is. That's the tag humor. All right. So let's open it. There you go. There's the box, and let's check for the manual. So before opening the box on, and check what's inside of it, let me just show you its manual. All right, that's the tag hewer, and let's check. And by the way, um, I would like to extend uh, my special thanks to the banker 
all right because this is the banker's watch okay so just to share with everybody uh, there was a live auction that had occurred wherein the banker was uh, selling out his uh, luxury uh, luxury selections to the viewers so uh, I was one of the viewers who actually uh, bidded on the luxury item and this is it so there it is the international uh, warranty as a proof okay and if you can simply know this there's the serial for this timepiece okay so there's no faking this one up so this is an, a 100% original item all the way from Dubai or UAE from my dear friend Tomas and his team the Our Empire so thank you uh, I'll, I'll give out a special mention to each and every member of their team all right first to the godfather the legend uh he's actually uh, one of the ceo legends tomas also known as nongni the godfather all right and a dear friend of mine second to the second king of the our empire oliver Right? or also known as uh, Boss Oli and Repa and to the third king the prodigy Boss Third okay? one of the newest members of their family Boss Third right and for my end, I also call him Billy Crawford. All right. So um, now um, I also wanted to say thank you to Andro, right, for always giving time to me whenever I have a certain uh, concern about my shipments and my billing. Uh, he's the admin together with G1. Okay. And for the person behind the bubble wrap, Anjo. And let's not forget as well, Bika, uh, Bikai. Uh, oh, she's actually one of the queens for the Our Empire, right? But she's currently on leave, I think, because she's on vacation. So uh, for Anjo. Mr. Bubble Wrap King, all right? Thank you for making sure that my packages are all safe. All right. So, let's continue. And here it is. The Tag Hewer Carrera, all right? So, it's also known as the CV2A1AB uh, model. All right as far as i i can actually remember it it has um let's see it's dot uh ba0738 i think that's the exact model a number for this item so let's check it out all right so here it is So for this um, timepiece, alright, okay, so this is the timepiece, alright, so just to um, specify um, this particular timepiece to everybody, alright, let's focus a bit, alright. As you can see, uh, it's a stainless steel case. There you go. All right. All right. It's perfectly polished. Side by side. There you 
you go. Right? So for the dial, this one is black. And there's a recessed uh, chronograph, subdials, polish uh, rose gold pens, right? And it actually has a luminous feel on it, as far as I can see. It's luminous. Um, well, it's perfectly bright in here, so. Um, we won't be able to identify that um, on this uh, set of environment, all right? So for this, um, for this, for the second hand, it's actually uh, painted red. So let's check for the chrono. There you go. Okay. So as you can see. That's for the chrono. Okay. And you can see also that day by date notification over there. And uh, just to share with everybody, this is running under uh, caliber 16. All right. And it's a 100 meter water resistant timepiece. All right. There it is. So just to share um, with everybody um, for the movement for Caliber 16, also known as the uh, 7 750 movement, if I if I have it correctly, um, which was been developed by uh, Val Jokes. All right. Uh, well, it's actually a legendary movement maker, and. Uh, as part of the it's actually an organization or a group also known as uh, ASUAG right um, well for that particular group it's actually an, also known as a, what do you call that specific term uh, conglomerate um, it's an organization that um, is being specialized on on timepiece movements uh, which was been uh, developed they were actually been uh, organized uh, around 1931 so basing it from that particular year um, that organization uh, was initially been funded in Switzerland and uh, well around for this particular timepiece movement around the 7 750 movement was actually been uh, included as well on several uh, brands of watches as far as I know it. Just to share a, a short um, trivia about uh, the movement in this particular timepiece. Uh, the 7 750 movement is also uh, being used on other luxury watches such as uh, Certina, Edox, Eterna, Oris, and Long Jeans. Right? I'm not quite sure if I'm missing something. Um, but uh, moving forward, uh, the 7 uh, 750 movement uh, is uh, actually a very famous uh, movement uh, that was being used for racing. Alright? So it's um, commonly you can commonly see it on uh, automatic chronographs from luxury timepieces, right? So uh, for this, um, for the Von Jock Seven uh, Seven Fifty, um, there's actually two frequencies for that. Just to share with everybody. Okay. Oh, by the way, I forgot. I stopped it. So if you can simply notice, there's this. The, there's the second counter. So I reset it. Let's reset it. There you go. So it's back on top. Okay. So for this particular uh, 
movement, there's two parts. Uh, for this movement, caliber 16 or also known as 7750, there's actually two frequencies in this particular timepiece. The first re frequency moves in at uh, 21,600 uh, beats per hour or also known as BPH. And then the other one is around uh, 28,800 uh, beats per hour. And both of them is actually on 17 jewels, as how I recall it. All right. So, pretty much um, for this particular timepiece, I have actually uh, done my review upon receiving it because um, I also had uh, the Carrera. All right, uh, the previous uh, model. It's it's actually a vintage one. I also have another of this. Uh, I got it around uh, two years ago, I think. Two years or a year ago. As far as I could actually um, remember um, when I basically got it. But for that one, it was actually... Uh, I had to... Um, I got it from an auction, I think, as well. So... For this um, timepiece, um, as you can see, this is a new model, right? And for the caliber 16, uh, if we're going to uh, base it on uh, the VPH or also known as the vibration per hour, all right? So caliber 16 actually beats at 28. I think this timepiece is already beating at the second uh, beats per hour, which is the new one, which is for 28,800 beats, right? or also, um, also known as the vibrations per hour. And approximately uh, for this uh, particular watch, it's, uh, it has a power reserve for, uh, for 42 hours. Okay? So it's... Uh, for the middle of the strap, it's actually brush, uh, brush polished, so it's an excellent timepiece and it's a bit heavy as far as I could identify it. So there it is for the Tagiwer Carrera, All right? So it's an excellent timepiece. Well, let me check this out. Let's try it and check if it would actually fit my fashion. My fashion. So let's check for sizing. There you go. All right. So it's it looks cool. All right. So. Uh, one more thing that actually um, interests me is actually uh, to check on how much it basically costs in the market at the moment. So let's check it out. Um, so for this, uh, let's check for the specific model. Well, in the U.S., it states that uh, for this particular timepiece, Carrera, okay, CV2A1B.BA0738, okay, so here it is. So, total cost value over retail is actually 4950 U.S. dollars. So, I guess I got a pretty good deal on this uh, particular luxury timepiece, right? So, I'll be checking it further. And by the way, there's the back. That's uh, just to show to everybody on the back, all right? So, there you go. So, for this timepiece, probably I'll actually have it adjusted for fitting as well. Right there you go. So if we're going to pose on it, check it out. It perfectly fits my wrist. Alright. So once again, another uh, CEO choice. Alright. The Tag Hewer Carrera. So thank you, Banker, for the timepiece. 
Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, for the Our Empire, uh, more blessings and more power to you guys. So this one will go uh, once again to my collection. All right. So as um, at the moment so far, um, as I have been checking, I already have uh, a couple of spicy boxes. So this one is the Carrera for the tag viewer. And then I have another one, which is for the AR9100. So let's put it there. And there's also another uh, big guy over here. All of this came from the Our Empire. So these are my bids with them. So also known as the Colbert. So let's pile it up. All right. So next one is for the Oceans Edition. Uh, let's see. There you go. So that's four. And then we also have another one, which is the Vigor. And the Scuderia Ferrari. And then another Scuderia Ferrari plus The set of watches. There you go. And um, not to add up on that one. The Kenneth Cole. Alright. So as you can see guys, um, I'm not a hoax bidder. I like bidding. So, I have 33 shipments with them. Alright? That doesn't include the, the, the items that I have with Kunos Altel, with Master G, and then Jams Posh. That's with Snoop Dogg. Alright? So, just to share with everybody, all of these watches are all mine and I'm not a reseller I'm a collector this uh, items are being uh, placed here at my house all right and this is all for personal use and for collection of course all right so you can see all of the time pieces are here nothing's missing Okay. So, for those people out there who's actually thinking that uh, probably he's actually bidding all of this and after that, he's selling it out. Well, what's the point of collecting if you're just going to sell it away? What's the point of finding good deals for timepieces if you're, if you're just aiming to gain profit for it? Well, for my end, it's my passion. Alright? I work hard. I work 24 by 7, 7 days a week, 365 years a day. I don't go on day off. And this is the least price that I can get. Alright. So these are my collections. And I'm more than happy to actually uh, give out reviews on this timepieces that I have. For everybody to actually uh, know what timepiece they would actually uh, would would uh, basically fit uh, their fashion or probably uh, what they like on the timepieces. 
So, and one more thing. As what people say about me, um, well, I'm actually a person who basically wants to test things. So, basing it on this particular timepiece, it says it's a sapphire crystal. So, let's check it out. A luxury timepiece, Carrera, will be placed into test for today. Here's the watch. Alright. Let's put an angle a bit. Okay. Here you go. So, we're going to terrorize this watch. So, here it goes. Well, what the heck? Let's put sounds on it. There you go. More force. More power. There. You can hear that? A luxury watch went into test. So let's check. All right. So if you can see scratches over there, well, probably I'm fucked up. But you can notice nothing. All right. So basically, that's the Tag Heuer Carrera. A luxury timepiece. Formidable for a CEO's choice. So, for today, thank you everybody for watching this review. And I would appreciate if you guys would actually subscribe to my channel. And as what uh, I have announced on the three pages, once my video or my channel hits 2,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away one luxury timepiece. All right, and it will be drawn through an event. But wait, there's more a second round. Or an aftermath will be provided that's going to be for the 3,000 subscribers all right once it hits 3,000 subscribers I'll be giving away another not just one all right but another one especially for Kunoz Altel okay so First wave will be for the first 2,000 subscribers and then the second wave will be for the 3,000 subscribers and for the third one it's actually going to be for Kunoz Altel. That's how much I appreciate Master G, right? But of course I also appreciate Tomas, he's a dear friend of mine. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't actually get this. All right, so thank you for watching this video. I hope everybody would like like it. And don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. And who knows, you might be the lucky winner for the luxury watch that I'm about to give away. Okay, so thank you everybody and have a safe day and God bless to all. All right, and by the way, uh, Snoop Dogg, thank you very much for the V8. Have a great day, guys. Once again, it's me, Mr. Kobayashi. That's what we all say. Have a great day.